fun and there's so many stories to tell. We're at the service park here and the person I'm going to speak to first, the winner of Heat 1. Congratulations, Tony Stollard, you did it. Thank you very much. I'm so <laughs> over the moon. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. I mean, you've been working away at this car, working away, and today it all just come together. Yep. We haven't put a scratch on it really been driving the wheels of it. The little Citroen just goes so hard and we've been banging into things suspension wise but haven't actually run off the road or done anything stupid and I think that's sort of paid off. Awesome pace all day. Probably should have realistically been your win but not to be. Oh look of course you know we're I think on one hand disappointed but also you know very happy to be in second. It was you know incredible for everyone. I think you know everyone had big issues and it was, you know, you're leading and then you're fifth and then you're third and, you know, it was the same for everyone. It was just, um, yeah, it was crazy. So I think we're, we're just happy that, we, you know, we made it through the last few stages and the boys did a fantastic job to get the car going. You know, we came into service thinking everything was all right and pulled up and pulled the uh, sump guard off and the whole, yeah, every uh, bit of oil that was in the engine just landed on the ground. So, yeah, thanks to them for, for getting us out and, um, you know, to bring home seconds, fantastic. I had a bit of an interesting morning, but um, look, the, day, the plan today was, you know, it was our first clean run, Aaron and I have had in the car together and sort of just building on that was the plan was to get through unscathed following on from Perth. Um, we did that and uh, we've had a few issues with the diff and the gearbox so the boys are swinging into action now, but look, you know, third's great, sets us in a good stead for tomorrow and stages I think I'll really enjoy tomorrow, um, stuff I grew up on, so hopefully we can uh, have a crack and see what happens. Steve McKenzie, it was all set up for you to sort of maybe even take the win, you were leading going to the last stage, talk us through what happened. Got to the end and jacked the car up and the wheels still sat up in the guard so. <laughs> so it's basically busted a shock yeah. for you. Yes yeah, so we've rent the shock. Um, there's one in Bendigo at the moment in <laughs> Alan Rowe's old car um, so I think one of the boys will be driving down there and grabbing that. I think we won uh, five out of six stages which was nice so but uh, yeah car's just strong and tough and just loves it so uh, Bernie and I had a great time and yeah we've got home and uh, yeah picked up heat one. had a bit of a drama on stage three when the, we looked down and the master cylinder on the clutch had <laughs> fallen off but apart from that she hasn't missed a beat all day I've just got to get a little bit more confident with me with the car it's uh, struggling downhills and stuff it still wants to turn around fairly easily and so on so I've just got to get used to it and and learn its behavior we sort of uh, came to the conclusion it probably wasn't worth chasing the guys in front this afternoon just to try and hold position um, which we did and then we had a split intercooler hose on the last stage and a half so um, yeah, that cost us a bit of time, but yeah, we're here and we're ready for tomorrow. The car just it started overheating and uh, so we slowed down and we were just at a sort of coasting pace to try to get the temperature down and then um, it just stopped. Ran out of compression, so wouldn't restart and here we stopped. 